three big headlines last week you should be watching for ETF investors in cannabis and, and reminding folks the same reasons why ETFs are so popular for thematic and diversification investing across other sectors. In cannabis, the fast evolving nature of both the macro and the bottom up is why we believe active management in cannabis ETFs is, is critical to get the right exposure. Last week, Chuck Schumer making headlines in an interview with Al Harrington, ex-NBA great, now cannabis operator, where he put forward the concept of an omnibus uh, type of a bill for legislation that would solve the capital markets issues, possibly the listing issues for cannabis companies, in addition to some of the complex issues on social and criminal justice. What does this mean? Uh, if any of this is, is fast-tracked in, in the way it was suggested, this could mean re-rating for cannabis that would be uh, much sooner than investors had expected the federal legalization, even after all the bullishness of the Georgia runoffs and the, the understanding that uh, cannabis legislation could move faster. This would be a fast green light for cannabis, and it was an important headline for the industry. New York in a cannabis state of mind, according to Governor Cuomo setting budget parameters last week. We've been waiting for these numbers. And look, after New Jersey's state ballot passed on the night of federal elections, everyone's been expecting New York. We've been expecting this for two years. Arguably, New York is the most important market to go adult since California came online. So we know the size of the population. We know the size of the addressable market and the importance that New York has in terms of the entire East Coast then flipping. So Connecticut and Pennsylvania. What does this mean for cannabis investors? It means that the addressable market is growing that much more. Uh, and it means for some of the U.S. operators who are well positioned in New York, uh, a Cureleaf, a GTI, a Cresco Labs, this is uh, another major market for investors to follow. But it sends the message that at some point, the states are going to lead the national focus and cannabis addressable markets continue to grow. Very exciting for cannabis investors. Was the Reddick Rebellion an opportunity for Reefer or were weed investors actually running in the opposite direction? Well, some of the same dynamics that have played out in markets outside of the cannabis industry, we saw high short interest companies being squeezed higher and some of the companies that maybe were the winners for investors with better long-term fundamentals actually sold off. So we saw Canadian LPs, high short interest names, even a name like Canopy Growth, which is near the top of our balance sheet in CNBS. We love the fundamentals longer term. Uh, was boosted by the activity last week because of its short interest, whereas uh, a GTI or a Cureleaf were uh, U.S. multi-state operators that got caught in some of this volatility. Remember, cannabis, very uh, high volatility market to begin with. When you see externalities or global market turmoil or dysfunction, cannabis is going to trade with more volatility than developed markets will. It's exactly what we saw last week. Keep your eye on long-term fundamentals. That's how we are managing actively in the ETF. Get the ABCs of ETFs with the ETF Edge newsletter. Your weekly update on the hottest trends in the nearly $4 trillion market of exchange-traded funds. Expert analysis, actionable ideas, and exclusive insight from host Bob Pisani. Sign up now at cnbc.com forward slash ETF Edge newsletter.